exactly one year ago, I started this channel and read out a creepy pasta called Lavender's Tune, and that made things happen. So, uh, to celebrate one year on this channel and uh, one year on YouTube, I've decided to do a retelling or a redo of my first ever video, which was Lavender's Tune. So, here's a snippet of the old video. Day 7. Lavender Town music seemed to continue playing in my head after I had finished my hour today. Note the lack of music or any atmosphere at all, and uh, the bad acting scene here. The Shadow Man will lead you to victory! Yeah, so I decided to redo this. So, um, yes. Uh, thank you, all of, uh, all of you guys uh, who have subscribed. Over a hundred subscribers, 125 at the time of this recording. So, you know, that's uh, that's alright for one year on YouTube, I think. But uh, next goal is, uh, you know, maybe 300 subscribers for two years. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm blabbering on. So, thank you guys again. And enjoy. Hello readers, my name is Nathan, and I'm 19 years old. I've been looking into the Lavender Town Syndrome and reading the stories. Some sound far-fetched, and some sound legitimately true. I wanted to test to see if this was true, so I'll be listening to the original song for an hour every day for a whole month. Granted, my ears are fully developed, but that doesn't stop me. I'm going to record my entries day by day. Then once I'm finished, I'll release it to the world. Day one. I feel a little lightheaded, but nothing more than that. Though, I do find the song oddly catchy. Day two. I, feel, I felt nauseated about halfway through. I wasn't lightheaded at all. My ears started ringing. Day three. Nearly 15 minutes in, I began to have a nosebleed. It didn't stop until the song was over. I felt lightheaded and incredibly nauseated. I don't know if me feeling nauseated is from the song itself or from something I ate. Day 4. Once I was finished listening to the song, I had to lay down. My body felt incredibly weak. My balance was off. Day 5. Nauseation overcame me and I'd gotten sick a little more than halfway through the song. The ringing in my ears returned, only louder and longer than before. Day 6. I looked in the mirror and noticed I had dark bags underneath my eyes. I've had a good sleeping schedule and get around 10 hours of sleep a day. I don't feel nauseated, and there wasn't a ringing in my ears this time. Day 7. Lavender's music seemed to continue playing in my head after I'd finished my hour today. I couldn't get it out, no matter what I listened to. The dark rings under my eyes have gotten darker and more spread out than before. Day 8. Today my ears started to bleed. It wasn't horrible, but it was incredibly odd. But I also had this feeling that someone was watching me on and off throughout the rest of the day. Day 9. I became incredibly paranoid when the song finished. The feeling I had yesterday about something watching me was back, but it was more consistent than it was before. For some reason I hadn't been feeling nauseated or lightheaded in a while. I guess I'm getting used to listening to this song for so long. Day 10. There was a crackling in the song that I hadn't heard before. It was high pitched and lasted for a good minute. I'd passed out nearly half an hour after the song. When I woke up my nose was bleeding and my face was beyond white. Day 11. The whole time I've been doing this little project, I haven't had any social interactions with any of my friends or family. I don't feel I even want to. I've been isolated inside my room for the past few days. My face is still white and I've been shaking constantly when I'm not listening to the song. Day 12. I seem to fall in a trance when the song plays. The Japanese symbol for empire is painted all over my walls. I've never seen the symbol until now. I looked it up. So I know what it means. The weirdest thing, though, is that my 
Irises are enlarged to the point where they cover my entire eyes. Day 13. I still can't get over how black my eyes are. It's as if they've sunken in. I'm beginning to find myself unrecognizable. Also, I had to spit up blood, and a sharp pain jolted through my chest. Day 14. Two weeks in, and I'm beginning to see the outlines of dead Pokemon. As cliche as that is, they, they just seem to be everywhere. It's as, it's as if the game is becoming more and more real. To top it off, each of them have the Japanese Empire sign carved into them. I believe I'm going insane. Day 15. Paranoia got the best of me today. I might have to stop this little project before I end up in a damn asylum. Before I end up in an asylum. There has been something watching me closely. Every day. I can't take it anymore. I don't feel safe at all. Even locked in my room. I haven't slept in four days. I'm constantly looking over my shoulders to check if someone else is there when there isn't. Day 16. I'm going to continue this project, no matter what happens. This has to be some sick joke my friends or family have come up with. I I'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Day 17. I got sick three times today, but I had thrown up blood instead of whatever was inside my stomach. I'm beginning to think this isn't a joke and more myself going completely insane. Nobody would go to this extent to play a sick joke on me. Day 18. The Empire sign has appeared more often. I'm seeing it everywhere. It's almost calling for me. Lavender's tune is becoming second nature to me, and it's speaking to me. Day 19. The Second Empire will rise and conquer all. Day 20. Today I, I carved the Empire sign into my chest. The, the song spoke to me and told me that I must go and help those in trouble. Day 21. My last few entries have been short, and I'm not sure why, but I must spread the word about the Second Empire's coming. See, it'll, it'll rise. It'll conquer. It'll destroy. Day 26. I, I've been spreading the word about the Second Empire. People think I'm, I'm crazy. But, but I'm not. I'm far from crazy. Oh, they wouldn't listen to me. Uh, I did unspeakable things to those who wouldn't listen. They wouldn't listen to me. No, they they didn't. They didn't. But now they will. They'll, they'll listen. They're in here, sitting with me. They'll listen to everything. Day 27. These people sitting here in my room listen to everything I say. They're my friends now. The Second Empire will come. It'll consume the world. I'm happy I have friends who'll listen to me. They're, they're so quiet, though. I, I haven't heard a word from them in days. But as long as they listen to me, everything's fine. Day 28. My friends seem to be changing. They're bloating and turning brown. There's a disgusting smell coming from them. I don't understand why they're doing this. I've been taking care of them. I'll feed them. Talk about the Second Empire. Feed them some more. It's weird, they, they won't chew their food, so, so I have to help them. Day 29. Ah, uh, yeah. There are flashing lights outside my window and a man yelling through a megaphone. I don't see a problem at all. I've had my friends over for a week. I'm sure someone knew of that. They ratted me out. My friends told on me. They told the cops because they were afraid of the Empire. I'll be posting this to the world now, to get my story out. It, it seems I might not have much time. I, I'm not crazy. I'm not insane. This, the Second Empire, it'll get me out of this. The Shadow Man will lead you to victory. The Second Empire will rise and conquer. <laughs> the Shadow Man will lead you to victory. The Shadow Man will lead you to victory. The Shadow Man will protect and watch over you. <laughs> the Second Empire will rise.